Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about Peterson's solution for achieving mutual exclusion. So let us start with the algorithm. First instruction is has defined false zero, and second instruction is has defined true one. In these two instruction, we are defining the value of false as zero and value of true as one. Next instruction is has defined n two. Here we are defining the value of n as two because we are considering there are two processes in this algorithm. Means we are executing this algorithm for two processes. So number of process is two, and we are defining the value of n as number of process that is two. Then after integer turn, we are simply declaring a variable named turn whose data type is integer, and this turn variable keeps the number of process whose turn is it then after integer interested of n here this instruction will simply declare an array of size n in this example n is equals to 2 so here array is like this array having two element because we are having two process first element for process p0 and second element is for process p1 and initially the all the elements are initially zero means all the values are initially zero means there isn't any process that is interested to enter in its critical section then after void enter underscore region argument as a integer process so whenever any process wants to enter in its critical section at that time the process will call this function Enter underscore region with a parameter as, as its process number. So suppose initially process zero wants to enter in its critical section. So this function is called by process zero. So here parameter is zero. Now next integer other we are declaring a variable name other. Now we are initializing the value of other as a one minus process. So here the value of other becomes one minus process means here we have already seen zero so one minus zero is equal to one. Next instruction is interested in bracket process is equals to true. So here simply we are initializing the value of current process as a one. So here we are having array of elements two. and the integer of process means value 0 so here the value of this process 0 is initialized as 1 so this array becomes 1 and 0 because interested of process that means this process means 0 that is process 0 that is the first element and we are initializing the value of first element as a true true means 1 so here it becomes 1 next turn equals to process we are simply assigning the value of turn as a process process means right now value of process is 0 so value of turn equals to again 0 so it becomes 0 now we are checking the condition now condition is like while turn double equals to process and interested of other equals to true then the process need to wait means busy waiting otherwise process is allowed to enter in its critical section now we will check the condition first turn double equals to process now here what is the value of turn that is 0 and process we have already placed here value 0 so first condition is true value of turn is 0 means value of turn and value of process both are 0 so first condition is true now second condition interested in bracket other double equals to true now this condition is check over here interested of other other means here the value of other equals to 1 that is process 1 so process 1's value in the array is 1 no right now it is 0 so this condition is false this condition is true here we are using and operator so if the both condition are true then and only then the entire condition is true otherwise entire condition is false so here this condition is false so here is semicolon so process need not to wait for a busy waiting 
so here this process 0 is allowed to enter in its critical section so here process is entered into critical section now right now process 0 that is process p0 is in critical section and at the same time another process p1 second process p1 wants to enter in its critical section so again process p1 calls enter underscore region so here the array becomes 1 and 0 means we have already array 1 and 0 means process 0 is in critical section process 0 is right now not in critical section now here this function is called by process p1 so here integer process value is 1 here argument 1 is passed because 1 means process p1 then after other is equal to 1 minus process that is 1 minus process that is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so value of other equals to 0 now here interested of process equals to true so interested of process means process is p1 so now p1 is interested so we are initializing the value of this p1's element to 1 so this array 1 0 becomes 1 1 because this process is interested that's why we have initialized the value as 1 now turn equals to process so value of turn equals to 1 right now process is 1 now we are checking the condition turn double equals to process this condition is true because turn the d is again 1 and process the d is 1 so first condition is true now second was interested of other other means 0 interested of other equals to true now if we see this area the interested of other means this value again this is 1 so this condition is true now both of these condition becomes true means final condition is true means entire condition is true so here this process p1 is not allowed to enter in its critical section now suppose this process p0 has finished its work into critical section so now this process p0 wants to exit from critical section so once the process p0 exit from critical section this process p0 immediately call this function void leave underscore region in bracket parameter as a integer process so here integer process is nothing but a zero now what this function will do this function will simply initialize the value of interested of process equals to false so what this instruction will do it simply makes here 1 1 becomes 0 1 now if we again now at this point if we check this condition by using this turn equals to process that is the true now interest to other is equal to true before exit from critical section by p0 it was true but now it becomes false so now this process p1 is allowed to enter in its critical section so in this way peterson's solution will prevent a process to enter in its critical section once a process is already there in critical section now let us move further what are the disadvantages of peterson's solution that is it causes priority inversion problem now let us see what is priority inversion problem now priority inversion problem means the execution of high priority process thread is blocked by a lower priority process or we can say thread means whenever any lower priority process will block any higher priority process then it is known as priority inversion problem consider we are having two process first one is h having high priority and second one is low with a low priority here the scheduling rule says that h runs first and then after l will execute now we will execute both the process one by one suppose we are having a processor and a printer here this section is nothing but a critical section for a process so we will execute both the process one by one suppose a process starts over here this process is having lower priority now this process is using processor now at certain moment suppose l this process l will reach over here 
this process L is now using both of these resources that is processor and printer and here this process L is entered in its critical section now before exiting from the critical section suppose another process that is H process will arise this process is a H process that is having higher priority than a this process so here what's happened this process is there in critical section and this process is already using this printer this process having higher priority wants to use this printer but this process is already using but this process is having higher priority so this process immediately takes the control of this CPU from this process to its own means now this processor is allocated to this process having higher priority that is H process now this process wants to use this printer but this printer is not used by this process until this process that is red process having lower, lower priority can free that printer and can allocate to this but here this process is not allowed to free this printer because this cpu is allocated to this process having higher priority here this process will not free the cpu until unless the cpu will not allocated to this process means this l process this l process will not free this printer so here the execution of this process having higher priority is blocked by this process having lower priority that is L process this problem is known as priority inversion problem thank you very much